One of the questions I get asked the most is, do you have any plugin for the VME software? How can I improve my audio quality while streaming with the VME software? How can I make my sound more clean, clean the background noise, improving the audio quality and making it sound more professional so that my audience can hear and also enjoy my audio while doing the live stream on the VME software? And that is what I'm going to be addressing in today's video. I'm going to be taking you through the numerous plugins I use on the VME software to improve my audio quality. What those plugins are the settings that you should be using and how you can also get access to all those plugins and use them on your own vme software all of this is what we're going to be taking a look at this is the first time of coming across the channel remember smash that subscribe button below turn on the notification bell and remember to give the video a thumbs up if you find it helpful <laughs> Over to the Vimeo software, so need to pull that up real quick, and this is it here on the screen. Now, I'm currently using my laptop mic, and Rain is off the phone, in which is the best time for us to do this experiment together. Now, if I enable this, this is how it sounds. Now, without the setting and the plugin applied, this is how it basically sounds. Now, let's go ahead and apply the plugin and also the settings from the plugin. What you have to do is go back to your audio mixer here and select the microphone that you brought in on the Vimeo software. It can be your laptop mic, it can be your standard mic, it can be a mic from your mixer or from your, uh, your sound card. Whichever one you're using is perfectly fine. The same thing works on all of them. Let's click on the settings. Just go back to the plugin and click on this plus button here. Click on this. I want to select on the drivers, then we share, then MC what I use is the Clarity VX uh, stereo here and also the Ben X1 stereo. So let's go ahead and apply that first one. Okay, and then click on OK. We're just going to go ahead and enable the audio up. And let's double click on the Clarity VX stereo. Take your mouse to the center here and let's wind this up all the way up, all the way up. And you can hear my voice now. This is how it sounds. So even the people here, you can see now. And this is how it sounds after I've applied the Clarity VX stereo. And you won't even know rain is falling seriously here. And everything sounds really clean. You can also reduce it a little bit. Reduce it a little bit. A little bit. And this is how it's going to sound. Yes. So you won't even know rain is falling again. Now, if you see want to go ahead and apply the second one, just close it. Click on this plus sign again. Over here on the drivers, click on that. The last one. Click on this. And let's go ahead and select the second one. Then, go ahead and click on OK. This second one is more useful if you don't have much background noise. Let's see, you have a little background noise that you want to kill. You can use this particular one for it. Just increase this all the way up. Increase it all the way up. All the way up. And this will terminate the background noise. But if the background noise is way too much, then you can apply the first one. How can I have access to this plugin? Hop into your web browser and let me show you where to get them. Now, I got all this plugin from this website here called Weave.com and they offer numerous Vimeo plugins that you can use to improve your audio quality and also your video production in general on the Vimeo software. And all those plugins does also work on the OBS Studio as well, which I'm also going to make a video regarding that. And you can get all those plugins for as low as um, $13, $15, $17, $10. They are all affordable and it can help you to you know, improve your sound and let me give you that um, professional sound quality that you will need while using the VMIS software. So these are the two that I generally make use of. I use the Clarity VX V14 and also the NX1 Noise Suppressor. I also have numerous one as other ones as well, but these are the two that I currently make use of. I love them because it helps me a lot Anytime I want to record, maybe I want to do outside production and there's a lot of noise there. I could just apply it just like I showed you. It will help me to kill the background noise and I can be able to hear what the speaker is saying without having all those noise interrupting in the background. And this are all the plugins and also this is how you can get access 
to them in case you love the video and you also want to make a purchase on their website go ahead click the link and drop in the description below go back to their website and you have numerous types of plugin that you could actually sell it from thank you very much and see you on the next one